ignored. I thought about snatching him there, but Twice. I didn't. Now, do you guys know the reason why I won that round? It's because I fucking hurt the guy jumping out the window. If I hadn't hurt those guys, I would have died, right? Because I would have flicked them. But when sound works, it's so easy. But the issue is, sound doesn't work a lot of time. But it worked there. Holy shit, it worked wonders, man. Fuck. I heard everything. Fucking nice. Somebody asked if an injury as Ash gets two kills and dies without using any utility or they do their job. It's not that black and white, mate. It's not that black and white. You can get four kills and still fail, you know, like. It, it really depends as well. Like, if you're playing cafe, then clearing utility is really important. But also, as an Ash, you shouldn't get two injury kills before using your Ash charges unless the enemy is literally running into you. You know what I mean? In that case, you're not doing your job. You're just holding angles or that you're winning at once. So, In a perfect world, you want to use some utility before you die. Like, you should never die with two drones alive. Unless they're flying drones, right? You should never die with three flashbangs and two Ash charges. Like, you should always use utility... The times where you don't is either when you're roam clearing or uh, like if you just get peaked to see forward or whatever. But even when you're roam clearing, you shouldn't be afraid to use utility or drones because you gotta get to f you gotta get through the first step to get to the last step, right? So if it needs to take some ash charge in the beginning, then don't worry about it. What languages do I speak? Danish, English, Swedish, Norwegian, and a little bit of German. In other words, I just speak English. We need to locate a bomb. And Danish, because I was born there. What is that? C what are you using for, you know? Your ass. Okay, dude. Oh. <laughs> now, now you made me press push to talk. And I, <laughs> I thought I heard him either bottom or top spot. Yeah, he was definitely not above. <laughs> oh, yeah, I can see that. I was on the cam, I'm like, what are you see for? <laughs> you didn't tell me you were on the cam. <laughs> That's true, I didn't. It's my bad, it's my bad. The boat place. That death is definitely your bad. Yeah, I would have killed him if I didn't press my capsule. Yeah, my bad, bro. I take full responsibility. <laughs> I'm a coster. But look, look at this angle I made for I pay for winter. Right now. That's an insane See? angle, dude. Ooh, we should do that in Pro League, actually. That's so good. Yeah, it's not like everybody <laughs> does it. No, it's new. Yeah, it's really new. See? Can you kill him? <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> what are you c 4 ah. Well, there you go. <laughs> One more after we Dude, your character literally yelled. <laughs> no! <laughs> you know what to do. In the moments, do I think of engagements as a percentiles or probability? Yeah, percent, per, per, percentile, percentages, yeah. I don't know why that was so hard for my brain. Myself and Fabian, we've always believed in percentages. Like a 50-50 gunfight, that, that's, a, that's a very common phrase in pro play. Taking 50-50 gunfights. And myself and Fabian, we're very good at picking what gunfights we should take and what gunfights we shouldn't take. Fabian and I both have sub-average aim, I would say. And we both have very good statistics and good KD and good impact in professional games. And that's because we choose our gunfights with precision. And we will only get into gunfights with a higher chance of winning when possible. Whereas someone like Kanto, Shaiko, Ben, like Citizen, whatever. Really good fraggers. They can pick, you know, a 20% gunfight and still win it. 
more often than Lucid. Which doesn't make it a 20% gunfight anymore, but you get the idea. For the average person, it's a 20% gunfight, but for them, well, it's a 60% gunfight, you know? I just got ego so hard. And they win those. What, sorry? Let's go, let's go. There we go, we go. If you remain in this zone, you will be detected Stop. by hostiles. Your location has been compromised. Well, like the office? I've never seen it. I've seen, like, YouTube clips of it, but I've never, like, seen it, seen it, you know? Lobby Skylight, you say? Kali? Let me ace! Let me ace! Let me ace! Let me ace! Need like high altitude. I can't like peek it correctly here. Maybe if I go further left, I can get like. I don't know how she's missing. He fired like nine shots. I'm surprised as well. Yeah, how often do I suggest the new comp team should scrim? I mean, it depends how serious you guys are. If you want to seriously improve and go for Challenge League or Nationals, I'd recommend scrimming if possible due to scheduling. Scrim at least five times a week. Right? So, you know, let's say five days a week, you scrim at, you know, from like, let's say seven till ten. Three hours, right? Three maps. I, I would definitely recommend that you scrim more than... Is it, like, we do double scrim. So, we do two scrims a day. So, we do from, like, 1 till 5. Then from 6 till 10, right? That's what we do kind of thing. Um, But if you're not, not full-time and you're just, like, up and coming, like, scrim five days a week if possible. If, you, if you're grinding and you're not doing it, passionate, do it more, go for it. Some teams like having weekends off, some don't. In my opinion, was Goga the best support man in the world in his prime? In his prime? I think so, yeah. Goga used to have this like perfect way of playing like aggressive when he had to and passive when he had to. I do think so, yeah. Back in Goga's prime, I think he was one of the best, if not the best support player in the game for sure. Yeah, no comments, Yom CG. No comments, sir. <laughs> Look at that. Yoink! Thank you, Mr. Oh. Smiley. This guy just called Uno Babs. Jesus. Jesus. Uno is literally one of the best grenade players in Europe right now. Like, I'm not even kidding. Uno gets so many nade kills. He's like the BC of EU nowadays. Thank you, Gear. What was Doc doing? It was a rook, no? Yeah, he used to be terrible at nades, anti voice, yeah. I wonder who's definitely one of the best people, uh, best players in Europe, in my opinion. Definitely. 100%. We get a stream in Danish? Fuck no. Disgusting ass language. Achieves has the worst C4 conversion in A. I saw Achieves has thrown the most C4s and missed the most. Meanwhile, Hyper is 5 for 5. That's some fucking value right there. Shuttle's like 50 50 on like a bunch of C4s. Impressive. I like those stats. They're really fun to watch.